Hey, it's Sia. I'm Carol. It's Tiffany. It's Nicole. And this is what keeps us together. Basically, the group chat in your head. Living rent free. Bow, 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 bow. Bow. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hit them buttons. Hey. All right. <laughs> Hit them buttons. <laughs> uh, so, as you guys can see, we have a guest, an in studio guest. Oh, you're a person. We have guests at the line. Yes. 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 I forgot about that. I forgot all about that. Mm. All right. So, this is my dear friend, Rachel, but all of our friends, as a matter of fact, we have spent, ooh, Rachel, what is going on? Um, About 10 plus years mm-hmm. knowing each Jesus. other through our church at uh, Shiloh, uh, and then getting to know you through DR trips, oh, yeah. um, traveling internationally together. Yeah. Casual. Um, okay. But knowing her for through, through Shiloh, she's got a wonderful family. She's got four kids and got a grandson. She's also got uh, her husband. Uh, she is, but not only that, no, a writer, a content creator. Let's Jesus. get that right, too. Yeah. So doing all the things. She but is a phenomenal things. woman. Yes. Phenomenally. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you doing about what that was? I mean, I'm not saying what that was. Wasn't that mine? Who did you destroy to be? Mine was. You never heard that before. That's sad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay, move on. Next. Um, so we just want to welcome you to our show on this episode. Thank you, yes, Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course, yeah. welcome. Okay, so how we like to start off our show is we call it Song of the Week. So you can think of a song that either has been like heavy rotation for you or that describes your week. So, mm. who would like to go first? I'll go. What if you have a so- a TikTok sound instead of a song? Huh. Yeah, you usually yeah. have it into Is the that viable? Okay. okay. Do your thing, Shouty. Where do you want to go? Go ahead. <laughs> Mine's really TikTok short. TikTok long. I mean, it's fine. Go ahead. It's just, it's sweater weather. It's sweater weather. <laughs> sweater weather. Y'all haven't seen it? It makes this even funnier. It's <laughs> all <laughs> like, What? <laughs> Wait, that's so much funnier. <laughs> what, what is the TikTok of? Well, it's an SNL clip that people have used the sound of to be like, oh, the, it's the starting of fall. So like everyone's like wearing a sweater. I mean, I get like, it. No, I get it. it. So <laughs> it's been all over my timeline this I week. I had guys. the news on the other day and this lady, the lady that was newscasting did the same thing. And I was like, why is she talking like that? Uh, <laughs> and now we're doing phenomenal. That's how we felt. With no reference. Anyway. How the turntables. Wow. Crazy. Wow. Correct. Yeah. Anyway. Nicole, do you want to tell us? All right. Yours? Yeah. Um, so the entire DJ Khaled album has been playing on replay. Oh, God, he yeah. dropped it. God yeah. did. Yeah. yeah. I did not so, know he no. dropped it. I know God did. It's like, that's all I'm going to give you. But that's what's been playing. Wait, so is it. What is, what did you just say? It's not a gospel album. album. It's not. It's, it's not. not. Wait, what? No, it's, no okay. the, whole, okay. the DJ Khaled album in general, uh-huh. but that song specifically. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow, I'm so proud of you. Yeah. Did Kylie teach you that? Did she uh, play it for you uh, first? Did or? Actually, Harry did. Oh, okay. Look at Harry. Me and Harry were listening to the album together. Fair. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, the only <laughs> album I've been acknowledging lately is Beyonce. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So mine have been, because I've been trying to speak to myself nicer lately. Mm, I feel mm-hmm. that. So Cozy and Alien Superstar have been my two okay. songs. Uh, I feel okay. that. I do. Also, it's been a strong two months, and it is still thick in my rotation. L- yeah. Literally the Church only thing girl, I listen to. come yeah. on. Same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also like yeah. Heated. Sorry, Khalees. I do. I like the whole thing. Sorry, yeah. please. Moving on. Nick? <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry, sis. <laughs> You're not sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. <laughs> At all. She got what she wanted. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think mine uh, is going to be the. Hold on. What what am I doing? Talking in the mic. Rock the mic. Was it not high enough? Be the gut. I mean, I can hear it fine. (laughs) Still good. Okay. Uh, All right. So I think mine for this Mm. week is. is, I haven't really been listening to anything in particular. but I'm tired. It's so like, how do you feel? Tired. I'm truth is. I I'm thought tired. that but again. Again, See, it's we, we could have that like she's I mean, we can, we can always bring it back. 
Yes. We can always bring it back. I was back. too tired to even think of that. That's <laughs> us tired. <laughs> Lord. Tired. Oh, well, thanks for joining us, friend. Oh, yeah. I'm glad to be here, We appreciate you. Yep. We appreciate your good. press. But I'm going to sleep after this. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, Rachel, do you by chance oh. have a song that's been... I do. Up? You know, I'm a love song girl. Mm-hmm. I listen to a lot of Adele. Um, mm-hmm. A lot of Adele. Like, every day I listen to Adele. But I do, I do want to talk about, there's one song called um, Brand New Me, and it's oh. by Alicia Keys. Mm-hmm. Oh. And yeah, you just said you were talking about, or you're thinking about being kinder to yourself or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's a really good song about um, just doing things differently. You know, I, I'm in a different place in my yeah. life. I just became a grandmother. All my children are grown and gone, and I'm doing new things. And so it just is a feel good, Aww. love me kind of song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Me too. I love that song. Yep. Everything. All right. Okay. <clears throat> this, um, who's it on? Um, Nicole. All right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're rusty. I don't know why, but we are. <laughs> every no, time we record. I, no, I was no, uh, responding time. to something else. But um, anyway. All right, so our culture reference for today is a small clip from one of the latest episodes of Married at First Sight. One of the couples, Miguel, had some feelings about, during a conversation they were having, and here it goes. Pages, some bad pages in that chapter. Yeah. Because when I so when I grew up uh, in New York, I got picked on um, for being Puerto Rican, like looking like this. Mm. Yeah, and then when I moved to Puerto Rico, I got picked on for not knowing Spanish. It was like either I wasn't like white enough in the US yeah. and I wasn't Latino enough in Puerto Rico. Mm. I was always like the outsider, it was always mm. awkward. Mm. So I, I, I do this thing and I did, I guess, a little bit going into this whole experiment mm. of like, you know, hoping for the best, yeah. but kind of expecting the worst. Yeah. Okay, so our topic of discussion today is we don't have a topic for it yet. We're really trying to figure out what to call it. It's really just trying to better understand what it is to be Latina and Hispanic. And it reaches into the cultural diaspora of what it is to be American, what it is to be Black, what it is to be everything and all the places that it touches and just better understanding like what that is and how that feels um, to someone that is, which is why we asked Rachel to come onto our show and talk to us about it today. So we're really just here to learn um, ask a couple of spicy questions, you know, mm-hmm. keeping it honest. <laughs> and, uh, that's, that's, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> but hopefully not offensive. Yeah. I mean, I feel like we always just graze it <laughs> okay. every episode. But, I mean, Rachel's our friend, so we'll be back. <laughs> See how it goes. Not your excuse. <laughs> so I think to start off, we'll ask you by asking you how do you self-identify? Okay, so I'm Puerto Rican and Italian. Um, and that's how I identify. As I'm just, most times I just say I'm Puerto Rican. Uh, my grandfather came to the U.S. from Sicily. And um, it's always a funny conversation because actually my dad is really dark skin, mm-hmm. Like, really, or was rather, and had an afro. And <laughs> my mother... You know, has like Asian straight had Asian Asian straight black hair and really light. I mean, white skin. You know, um. So, so to be clear, your mother was Italian. No, that's, oh, that's the joke. Okay. <laughs> the joke is that it's my father who's Italian okay. and my mom is Puerto Rican. Okay. Um, and so having to explain that and <laughs> it's always you know a little crazy or whatever. But I am Puerto Rican. That's what I say I am. That's what I am. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. So uh, what is the difference between being Hispanic and uh, Latin, Latina, Latino? Okay, so (laughs) my answer for that is that I don't know what the differences are. Those are, it's a, well, yeah, don't don't feel bad. What, What we know for sure is that these names were created to help white people. Mm -hmm. identify Mm -hmm. us by country or you know whether or not you speak spanish and you're from central america or you're from the caribbean or whatever i know it has something to do with nixon you guys can google it i don't need to do your homework for you she said but it's um i grew up being understanding that if someone said hispanic they were talking to me Mm -hmm. if 
someone said Latina, they were talking to me. I have often, and I do still refer to myself as Latina okay. um, and my Latinidad, you mm-hmm. know, just the flavor, the essence or whatever of what I am. Um, so what the difference is, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's not, it's a, it's a construct. It's something that was created for other people to understand. Um, I grew up hearing both. I grew up saying both. I'm sure I'm almost 50. <laughs> so I'm sure that there are people younger than me who have a better understanding, you know, of what it is. So don't mean to be offensive to someone who knows, well, it's this and it's this and it's this and this is what that means. I didn't grow up that way. The language is new to me mm-hmm. and it wasn't for me. Mm-hmm. So it's not something that that I really thought about. But that's my explanation. I'm Latina. I've always been Latina. Yeah. But, you know. When they talk about Hispanics, I'm pretty mad about it because I know they mean me. (laughs) So that's that. Mm -hmm. that. There's clearly like a and even though there are different names, there's clearly, you know, a cultural similarity, even though. And I don't to your point, it may be Nixon. Who knows? But yeah, you know, I meant to say earlier, it's um, so the question is about the difference or, you know, whether or not I'm Latina or Hispanic or what's the difference as a Puerto Rican, though. <laughs> I before I say I'm Latina, before I say I'm Hispanic, I say I'm Boricua Marty. because that's right straight from the island, and that's really you know what we hold on to. I'm sitting here with a purse with a flag on it. Every Puerto Rican has a flag somewhere, <laughs> you know. A lot of times it's tattooed. I'm not that crazy, but my purse is my I purse. Mean, <laughs> purse. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You know, you can you see the flags in the house next to Jesus and Kennedy or. And Kennedy. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Why why yeah. Jesus the flag and Kennedy? It's Jesus. It's the flag. It's Kennedy. It's actually also Dr. King. It's right. also, yeah. You know, it's like the Where Southern households do the same thing. Yeah. Why? Right. <laughs> but why Kennedy specifically? I don't know. It doesn't <laughs> end. I feel like Kennedy so, has always been like the president like of the rock? people. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's, yeah. Right. That's, yeah. Right. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because yeah. everyone got a picture of um, Brock and Michelle, like they're their cousins. <laughs> like, like, I, do, up. I do too. Dang, I forgot you one. So they're not black enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Carol. We're doing this. What'd you say? That's say I don't have a picture of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> Maybe a paper, newspaper article, but that's about it. Oh, mm-hmm. I do have a plethora of them. See? There you mm-hmm. go. <laughs> yeah. You're old. So since <laughs> you're a disrespectful. Oh my goodness. I have newspaper clippings. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I haven't seen a newspaper. <laughs> anyway. I digress. My bad. And not. So you talk about having it having represent, representation within your house. Do you represent it with your kids? With you know, do I represent what being uh, Puerto Rican, being Hispanic, being Latina? Do you speak the language? Do you? Yeah. How is it incorporated? And is that tradition, um, even your lineage, important? And how do you share it, especially with your grandfather being and father being darker of skin? Well, my grandfather actually was white looking he's oh. yeah my, it's my dad, dad. because his okay. mother was puerto rican okay a dark puerto rican okay um so my dad just got her complexion and you know and her hair texture and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff so it just was funny so growing up um this is this is kind of layered this answer is layered growing up it was very 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 important to my mother Mm -hmm. Um, and to my father that I speak English well, that I, um, that I speak English well, I'm going to, I'm going to leave it at that. Learning to speak the language and to be able to communicate Mm -hmm. because we're talking about what we're talking about Mm -hmm. with white people Mm -hmm. to be acceptable Mm -hmm. to white people was extremely important. Mm -hmm. Right. I feel like saying that with the belabored side says it all. It's I mean and and that's it. Now growing up, I didn't think that there was anything wrong with that. Mm -hmm. You know, who and actually they really they really formed a lot of things about education and the importance of education and stuff like that. Now I know that I'm I'm a mom. And that is important. 
and you do know that your life is easier if you have a decent education. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, you know, that's a truth that we can't get away from, right? Um, however, well, because of that, um, the Spanish that I spoke was solely with my grandmother, mm. um, who I think wanted to hold on to, mm. you know, being Puerto Rican, but she was in New York City and it, it was really just the language that she knew. And she was at an age where she wasn't going to learn. She knew English, mm-hmm. but it wasn't something that she was going to do all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. Again, just being a certain age, you know, ha- yeah. having children of her own or whatever. So Spanish at home and um, English wherever in the world she was. So because my parents were super strict about education and speaking well and things like that, that kind of seems like the. Again, just <laughs> being acceptable to white people. Mm-hmm. Um, now. Speaking well is important to me and to and it's something that I've instilled in my own kids. Right. But again, not that you can't hang out and be friends, hang out with your friends and speak how you speak. I don't have a problem with that at all. I do it all the time. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. there's a but there's a time and place for everything. Right. Talk about code switching. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. You know, we we code switch very well. Um, and so there's that. Now, um, my children have my blood and they are also black. They have all I have one son who is um, <laughs> who's definitely identifies more with the black experience here. I have a son who is very Puerto Rican <laughs> and I have one who just, you know, is kind of wherever. And then I have a daughter who um, is understanding the value of being around black people mm-hmm. because we did not raise them in a place where there are many black people mm-hmm. or Latinos. And those who are here, I mean, you know, those who are around us are from different countries. So it's a totally different culture. Mm. It's not, it's not the food that I cook. It's not the music that I listen to. It's Central America. It's South America. Right. It's no, it's not Mexican so much where mm. we are, but you know, mm-hmm. it's that kind of thing. So there are so many layers mm-hmm. now as being the only Latina grandmother. Now mm-hmm. it's very important that I'm Abuela Lola, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. that I, that's, that's who I'm going to be because my grandson, his now he's got he's a black mom and her black family and my son, who's a black son, a black man in, you know, living where we live. And mm-hmm. I don't need to tell yeah. you the challenges of that, yeah. you know, right. so but I do think that it's important. They all um, they all speak Spanish. They all listen again, listen to Spanish music that I played over and over again. Um, I could talk about this for days and days. It's important. It's important to me now that I'm older. Um, now that I'm older and we're all learning about or we have more access to who we are. Yeah. And to our real. histories and our families and and our cultures and our customs. And, you know, we're being called out every five minutes for things that, you know, maybe we wouldn't have been called out for, you yeah. know, before. And um don't think there's a problem with learning and growing. Um, but there are some things that are cultural that are just what they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you ever consider yourself um, Afro Latina? Well, so that yes, I, I consider myself Afro Latina now. Okay. It, because I know that it's a term. Mm-hmm. I know what it means, and it's for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's not something though that belonged to me when I was younger. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. when I was younger, <sighs> being the complexion that I am, I was dark. I was dark. And mm. I was like the India, mm. you know, um, I don't know what you guys know about Puerto Ricans, but Puerto Rican blood is uh, Taino, which were the indigenous people of Puerto Rico, African, obvious reasons, and, <laughs> and Spain, obvious reasons. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm working with. Right. My complexion is the less desirable complexion. Wow. And I also want to say that I... I'm only speaking for myself and from my, from my, um, my lived experience. Yeah. 
Okay, no. so I'm not, I don't represent. And that is what we all yeah, were hoping I, to I don't to represent do. anybody else. I couldn't even speak for the experience of my own mom, you know, yeah. who mm-hmm. was definitely white looking. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm certain benefited, From you know, in, in some mm-hmm. ways. That's not, the next pod. Yeah. Is to have uh, <laughs> the generational differences. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That would be very that interesting. That would be great. Too, yeah. I totally come back for that. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> gotta bring one. Yeah, oh, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. That'd be great. So, um, Sorry. No, that's okay. But where was I? Oh, yeah. So it didn't <laughs> exist, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm like really dark. I'm the India. Um, I don't have light eyes. My eyes are super, super dark. Um, and it was like, you know, growing up, you hear boys want to talk to the light skinned girls with the light brown oh, hair too? and hazel eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, and that's one of the things. That's one of the things that. Um, that I experienced in my life and I hear black people talk about colorism and I'm like, we all have that. Yeah. You know, like that's not, is that, it has a name. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Learning, learning that, mm-hmm. learning that the experience was not, it's not just me. Yeah. It's not just for me. Um, so there is a tremendous amount of colorism. There is a tremendous amount or, or was, I, I do want to say that I believe that, because of the access we have to information and just where things are now, the younger generations are going to be far better off than we yeah. were. Mm-hmm. Here's to hoping. Yeah. yeah. They are I, also well, drinking I mean, like Nyquil chicken. So yeah, yeah. but there's that. <laughs> but stupid is stupid. Is this part term? It's a spectrum. Where you were born. <laughs> <We're> born. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, but I will say that um, when I learned the term, and I guess at this point it's been probably probably twenty years. I'm just twenty seven, so probably maybe twenty two, twenty three years um, since I first learned the term mm-hmm. Afro Latina, and I was like, wait a minute, that's me, mm-hmm. right? That's right. me, like, woo, that's me, <laughs> <laughs> like I have a thing, yeah, yeah. That, that's me, that's yes. um. And, um, oh, so in this case, a label was good for you. The, in this case, that label was good for me because okay. it was like, I okay, now I can be something. Yeah, yeah. I can That's be real. something. So, yeah. Saya, years ago, you asked me a question. We had this whole conversation about being white adjacent, or have you ever been seen uh, as white? And I'm like, what? Like, mm. no, no. Like, what are you talking about? And who thinks that? Hold on. Yeah. But that's yeah. also regional. Mm. It's also okay. regional because yeah. people here are talking about things that people where I grew up are not talking about. Right. Okay. So there are things that are so important. And so, and I'm just like, yes, bring it down. <laughs> Relax. Yeah. Like, not hard to yeah. Right. It's not, but, but because life is different. The living is different. Your yeah. experience yeah. are different. What you need in a day is different. Right. You know, so you're not, so concerned about certain things. That's not to say that there wasn't racism. Right. That's not to say, but I promise you, I, with my white looking mother, did not benefit from any kind of privilege. Mm-hmm. When I moved to the DC area, suddenly I was light skinned. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Cut it out. Uh, yes, I'll take that privilege. <laughs> I'm sick. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get to be Afro Latina and my skin stop playing. Where has this been? So it was a good thing. Like mm. what? Or not good? Not yeah, good? No, not bad? Not, but yeah. it was just like. <gasps> Dude, I think exactly. I, I think I found my people. So can I, <laughs> when you mentioned you think you find your people, did it feel like a sense of belonging? Like, did you feel like you didn't fit in places? So that is also very layered. Oh, okay. um, yes and no. Again, so growing up in the city, um, I did not have very many black girlfriends. My experience is that I was the girl that the black boys wanted to talk to. So the black girls didn't like me. That was going to be my spicy question. Because Mm. of my hair. Mm -hmm. It was always my hair. Not necessarily exotic. No. Is that because you're in New York? Because here you would have been exotic. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But no, because in New York City, me, I'm not the only, the, how many million Puerto Ricans are in New York City, right? Mm-hmm. That's where we all are. Okay. We're there. 
or we're on the <laughs> island. So for me, exotic doesn't actually mean is not literal in any sense. It's just that like you have mm. something different, different features, but you're still not white, but no, you're not quite black girl, no. but you're like somewhere in that lived space. No, okay. it wasn't that. Okay. It wasn't, and that's that's what I mean about not that deep. Got it. It mm-hmm. was not that deep. It was I was not a black girl, but I was not a white girl. Got it. And mm-hmm. that's it. But it was more. She thinks she's cute. Mm. She's and and that's that's the experience. The experience is far less about your color and your culture, mm. and more that you think you're cute. You and that think, projection, yeah, and that yeah. and it's yeah. kind of like, oh my gosh, you know. And honey, I've had bottles thrown at me. I've had people write things on wall in permanent marker. Every time I hear about someone growing up in New York, I'm like, oh my god. I've had. How did you survive? Yeah, yeah. I've, I've had. It's a scary place. It is jungle. It is. Another time. Another time that we need that time, but you need to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I like did. Like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, 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 I left as soon as I could. I was out of there. Woo! I left. I left fast. I left. I left on a bus. I was gone. Not on a bus. Yes. To that point, though, I did I did leave and I left. I actually left my neighborhood a lot when I was able to, you know, back then you didn't have a whole lot of parental supervision. Right. And my daddy. How did y'all survive? We had parents. But no, my, so my dad died and it was just my mom and I had a lot of. Free time. Be home by this time. Yeah. Just be home by the time. Again, the living is different. Yeah. You're in the city. You're walking. You're, you know, whatever. So I walked all the time. I walked to Central Park. I walked, just walk, walk, walk. And I'm walking to where the people are not like me, where I didn't have to have bottles thrown at me. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and that's just oh. the way it was. So, so, Jeez. so white people in Midtown were not throwing bottles at me. Right. You know, the boys weren't talking to me either, but I was fine with that. It was, it, it's just a different thing. It's a different, again, a different experience. Mm-hmm. Um, so did not have many black girlfriends, didn't have black girlfriends until, well, I had one in high school, but she was also from New York and we had the same kind of, you know, experience. We lived together um, and we were very close. We are still very close today. That's because you went to school. I went to school in Massachusetts. Yeah. I lived on Williams College campus for um, three years. <laughs> yeah. So there I was exotic. Mm. There wow. I was spicy. I was from New York City. Not spicy. Yes, sassy. Definitely, I was sassy too. Mm-hmm. Still sassy. I was sassy <laughs> and I was spicy, and I'm from the city. Mm-hmm. So again, less about my my physical. Yeah. Less about the culture of being Puerto Rican, and more than more about being from New York City. Mm-hmm. That's wild and crazy and amazing. And you live in the big city, and you wear nice clothes and that coat and you know just things like that uh, <laughs> so coming you know, now i have my best women friends are mostly black mm-hmm. you know um i love you guys we love you <laughs> we're black I know, but, yeah you're black <laughs> <laughs> definitely i'm black um, black yeah she, mm-hmm. she's so black and- <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> The point is that um, it's it's grown. Mm. Um, there has been growth and it's changed. It's evolved. Um, people are older and you understand what's important, what's not important. You know, it's not so much about what your hair looks like. And again, women are not throwing bottles at me anymore. But no, still sure. have an issue walking into a room, you know, sometimes. And it's just it's like, guys, I'm with you. Right. And I'm Afro Latina. It's the Afro part. It's the same. <laughs> yeah, I think you know? for me, I didn't even know Afro Latina was a thing until I remember specifically. I think Lala Anthony went on the Breakfast Club. Okay. I believe it was also because around that t- same time, like Cardi B was growing in popularity, mm-hmm. and she's saying like nigga in her music, and mm-hmm. everyone's like, "Wait a minute, I thought you mm-hmm. were Latina. I mm-hmm. didn't know you." But then it came out she's also from the Dominican Republic and. Mm-hmm. Other and Trinidad, I think too. Mm-hmm. So, um, but people are like, "Oh, you can't say that because you're Latina. You're not black." Mm-hmm. And then Lala Anthony was saying, "Like, 
I a black I'm a black woman as a Puerto Rican. I'm also a black woman. I think that's when that like people started really looking into and trying to figure out. Yeah, I think. Can I backtrack a little please, bit? Please, please. Okay, because there's there's a video that we also shared, and maybe we're really bad about posting to our stories, but maybe we'll remember this one. <laughs> um, and it's Conscious Lee, and he was talking about the intersection between race, ethnicity, and nationality, and how they're all social constructs, but mm-hmm. how a lot of them are based on more things that are m- more. I don't want to say like official, but like. Your nationality is where you're born. Mm -hmm. It's much easier to pull like Mm -hmm. what that is than race, which Mm -hmm. is it can be how you self-identify. It can be how you're identified depending. And it can be a myriad of other things. So like there's like that element that I think all belong as a piece of this conversation Mm -hmm. and how what that crossroads is of how you identify versus how others identify you how that can create discord and and again but also regional true also regional because we're talking about two women from new york city Mm -hmm. you add jennifer lopez to that and the big crazy crazy about her saying uh, call it the n-word because i say it we say it here. Yeah, what well, fantastic! All the time. <laughs> well, fantastic! <laughs> fantastic. So, no, I say, but there's a, you know, big crazy with whether or not she can say it. Yeah. I, I'm telling you, when they say nigga in New York, they're talking about me. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Therefore, I, and right. and my friends and my you know and 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 I know that we like to nitpick certain things right now and and maybe it's not right now it's happening for a while and also i think i think we're just getting to be more educated and i don't think that there's a problem with that you know if you're gonna you you can't say things that are gonna hurt people don't say things that are gonna hurt people you know don't be a can I say a dick? dick? Yeah. You can say all the words. I know all the words. No, I mean, don't. I know all the words. I do know all the words. So I'm, I'm just saying, say it, there's, you know, there, there's being a decent person and then there's not being a decent person. Right. I think intention means something. Yeah. I think it has value. Yeah. I think if you're with your friends and you are singing the song, my friend doesn't have to not sing that part of the song. Oh, right? I don't know if I agree with that. I know you don't. Your white friend? Are you referring to your white friend? No, I'm talking to my, not my white friend. Oh, okay. They're on the same page. I do agree. Yes, yes, yes. You can't use a little bit. No, 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 no. I'm talking about, but but that's just, that's just what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm an other in this room, right? So. Are you comfortable knowing that I say and that Jennifer and that Cardi and that Lala, because we all come from the same place. We have a lot of the same life experience. We are in a in a culture, in a culture where this is part of our language. Okay, so can I answer that question? Yeah. Okay, so for me. I've never had a problem with any of them saying it, to be clear. Mm -hmm. But the the reason that it cropped up in my mind as a question for Mm J-Lo right now is Mm -hmm. because J-Lo right now is much more aligned to whiteness than she was J-Lo we grew up with. I Mm. don't know that that's fair. I think I would like to say Mm. that J-Lo right now is has grown. I don't disagree with that. Right. So I, I don't think it's aligned with whiteness. I think it's aligned with maybe rightness. Oh, maybe. Maybe it's not Not necessary for J-Lo to say certain things, whether it's for her brand or for her business or for the public. Maybe everything is not for everybody. But why is right the phrase you would use there? What what made it wrong before? I'm talking about her personal business. I'm talking about her brand. I'm talking Uh, about her ability to make money. Not morally right or wrong. I'm not talking about morally right. Because... But it can't be both? I'm saying she... uh, uh, She probably still says it. But but that to me is is what creates that discord. It's not... mm, Like, J-Lo... I don't see J Lo different. Like I'm not calling J Lo white. Like I, I don't see J Lo different you? now from Jenny on the Block. You know what I mean? But okay, ooh, I don't really? see her. I, but I think her branding is yeah. very different. But I don't like. Her to me, it's dangerous to call like the like the branding and saying that like I can say the n word behind closed doors, but not 
out loud because that's no longer what I want to associate with is a little bit scarier than her just not saying it anymore. Well, at I'm all. not going to speak for JLo. I'm just saying I know, I, and I don't mean to do that. I don't mean to represent, again, anybody else. What I'm saying is that the reality is she has a brand mm-hmm. and her brand requires things. That's mm-hmm. fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Things, right? She doesn't want black people who don't accept her saying the N word to be angry, why piss them off? Why yeah. do you have to do that? You don't right. have to do that. Mm-hmm. Get all the money. Get it. Get, get, all, the get all, all the money. I'm saying get all the money. Get all the because she has a brand. This is a I, I would say that there yeah. are things that are business decisions and there are things that are not that right. are not business no. decisions. And it's not about being right. It's I mean what this is what I want to avoid. I'm not saying white is right. Mm-hmm. I'm saying secure your bag. No, I, I'm with you. Okay. And, I, I, and, and if that's what she's doing, then that's what she's doing. It's not, it's not my business. It's not right. Anyways. So, and when I say like is more aligned with whiteness, I don't even just mean like not saying the N word. I mean, like yeah. she used to be like R and B. Yeah. Like she used to be like, with L Cool J with Puff okay, and, and so that all of that is very different now because I she's mean, also fifty two years old. I was about to say she's aged. And she's she's, she's, she's in her fifties. Well, well I was say everything about it. I guess she's no longer putting out R and B music. Like she's yeah. doing very much yeah. like Spanish music and like more poppy. No, she's music dance. Now. She's very dance music. Yeah. She's very definitely pop. She does the same wedding movie Ooh. over and over. Which. <laughs> <laughs> She's watched every single one. I, and do, she and does. I think she's great. <laughs> she is. I think she's great. <laughs> but she's definitely great. not doing an right. R&B, okay, Jenny on the Block type no, of music no more. No. Can I also throw this in there that maybe perhaps, and this is just a hypothetical, to your point about the brand, maybe when curating her brand first on, they created Jenny from the Block to make her relatable to her audience. And now... And also the man she was dating. Yes. I mean, also but the it's, man she was You have to create that. I think that... But that's she's what kind of doing Okay, that. but she's like, not... Just, but, I, I and then it's also not to say that, that she's doing that. Also, a, a lot of people so get bad. paid for, right. for her being who she is. It right. reminds okay? me it's, a, it's something that's created. Yeah. So Your image is like created. If you it's it's whoever you want to... But you remember Pink yes. came out very hard on me. Tim Marie, like, yeah. type branding in the very beginning. And yeah. her next album was so pop, I was like, whoa. It yeah. was like pop rock. It's like, what is more than right. <laughs> like, well, I, I was mad only because she I was She got like, the same brand, but that ain't the same right. Right. That's right. Exactly. So, I mean, like, but also, but it, that's business, right? But that's business, but what's wrong with growing as a woman? That is, there's nothing wrong with that. And so there's nothing wrong. I'm, so who are I'm you? Saying. I guess is the question. But who, not just who are you, but like, was that you can also still grow in R&B. So like, it seems like a conscious choice. So like that, that is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Like I'm not, I'm not trying to vilify the choice. I'm not trying to say that don't get your bag. I'm just trying, like the question to me is like, is that distance born out of She went to one source of words. She's like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> She's not y'all like, niggas like, looking out for me. Oh, she probably <laughs> said, you niggas is wild. They shoot that stuff. That's the problem now. She probably she said, said, no for me. She said, Ben, 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 ben please <laughs> take me to the Emmys and the Grammys. I am not. Not the source of words. You guys. Why do people don't even go to that? Why do the pictures? Shot. <laughs> I hate it. Here. Oh, no, what no. I'm saying is that it doesn't always. Like, it's not not Mm-mm. every not every change is a change to distance. Okay. From something, I would agree with that. I'm not not every change. I'm and again, this is. I don't love any city more than I love New York City. I don't love any food more than. The food in my hood, the food in my house, the food that in my auntie's house, the food in my grandmother's house. I don't love anything. And I've been places and I've done things. Lots, right? And, and I love all that. Mm-hmm. But also, I like the steak at the palm. Come on, steak at the palm. What's wrong with me liking the steak at the palm? Not a thing. Right. It doesn't mean it doesn't mean that I'm distancing myself. I don't love anything more than who I am and where I've come from, but I'm allowed to like new things. I'm allowed to do new things. I'm allowed to grow and to incorporate other thoughts and ideas and who are you's mm-hmm. t- 
to who I am. Right. So, yeah. so I'm hearing, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I'm hearing you. I'm not trying to beat a dead horse. <laughs> yeah, fine. Go ahead. Okay. She eat it. But I, I eat it. I, to me, that is the description of Cardi B. And I'm not saying that there is only one way to grow. Obviously, that's not the case. But like Cardi's like, listen, I'm rich, I'm rich now, and but you're going to still get the same version of Cardi that you always got of Cardi. And that may not necessarily be growth. And I don't expect that out of J-Lo either, to be clear. Yeah. But what I'm saying is like, and and it's not just J Lo. So like, there's Kanye did it too. Like people do it all the time, where it's like they use a culture in order to grow, and then once they get to a certain tier, then they're like, I'm good. If it's, I, don't, I don't know about if it's using a culture to get to where you are. It's her culture. Well, it's Kanye's culture too, right? So it's, it's there, and I don't, and I don't. I mean, I do, and don't mean using. Like I'm not, I'm not saying that like because you used it, it is not yours. But then to create that space where there is a difference between like how you're choosing to brand yourself and what you use in order to become how we know you, Mm -hmm. there is a use there. Okay, but also though, also though, in to to your point, all that is valid. We are also getting older. So, so we're not doing. Do you have a this. picture of J Lo in your home as well, next to Kennedy? No, <laughs> <Okay>. so, we're <laughs> not. We're not doing the same things mm-hmm. anymore. You know, you just okay. In my car, I listen to the filthiest. To the, but it has to be like nineties, two thousand. Yeah, I hear that. That's I good, that. right? Because mm-hmm. that's what I'm. It is. <laughs> you okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Every yeah. now and I think I have like. Two city girl songs in my mem- in my repertoire. I think I got some Meg in my repertoire now. Yeah. My private listening, but <laughs> but I can't do the what's happening now. Right. I just don't like it. Does it mean I'm not that chick? No, so, it means I don't like it. Can yeah. I ask, can <laughs> you know? I ask this question? If we're talking yeah. about cultural identification, yeah. if, if we had to put something on it, right? Uh huh. Sometimes I feel like based on certain people's culture, people, sometimes people box them into that and then yes. you're only allowed to like those things yes. based on your culture. Like, like, okay, we're black. So that means we have an expectation that we're supposed to like fried chicken and mac and cheese and greens, which you I do. love those things. And yes, I do cook those things and they, I cook them well. You do. <laughs> yes, However, I Just also like love butter chicken. I love Indian food. Yeah. I don't know why I love mm-hmm. Indian food, but it yeah. is it's delicious. Because it's delicious. Right. Right. So it's like, I'm, I feel like some people are like, like broiled chicken. <laughs> like broiled? Is that what you're getting at? Fair enough. What is wrong with that? Oh, my God. I also I have like developed food. like, you know, I'm kind of, I'm a little bit of a picky eater. Like I don't necessarily, I, tr- I will try new things because mm-hmm. my grandma always say, don't knock it until you try it. Mm-hmm. And for a long time. Everybody's my, grandma. Yes. Yeah, well, okay. Everybody's <laughs> grandma used to say that. And for a really long time, people, like my, my niece loves fried yuca. And I'm like, eh, I, mm, it, it's sus. Like I don't, it's fried. Okay. Fried food supposed to be good, but. <laughs> I don't know how. Like, what is you? Can you, can you tell me what it is? It's and a kind of day, potato. I just but tried it. I was like, damn, yeah, this shit is busting. No. No. So now I'm going to get it at least once a week. I thought okay, you were it before, to... after you tried it, not before. I mean, I don't no, know. No, and I'm supposed to love fried yuca, and I hate it. I don't like it Because it's not a potato. It's, it's stringy. It's not, <laughs> what is that? I don't it's like it. It's not always. What is that? But I think the question is, I think, going, that going back to now. Tiffany's dead horse, <laughs> will likely yeah, never put out another R&B album. Why do I feel like probably that? Probably not. Right? Yeah. No. J-Lo will probably never put out another R&B oh, album. Maybe not. Right? I mean, but so that's why it kind of feels like she's a bad She's still selling out arenas off her own. No, she's like, a talented woman. I'm, I'm, I'm not mad, mad, to be clear. Yes. I'm not mad at J-Lo. I just was in the car one day in that song with her and Elle. The whole cool J came up and she was saying the N-word. Oh, and I was like, wow, oh, J-Lo today would never. That seems like a topic to talk about. But I don't think she would, though. But it's a smart point. Not on a hot mic. No, no, no. No. No, 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 no. Maybe if you caught Demi on the block. White on her senses now. Oh, Oh, that's a real question. Yes. 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 Yes.
I'm supposed to look towards the future. <laughs> Nicole is definitely abandoned her black side. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I ain't got what Rachel said. We're growing. No. Abandon my blackness. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's legal. <laughs> What's that? Abandon your blackness? I would never. No, you know, I'm I'm a a oh, no, I don't check white on my sentence. But she checks it on her job application. Oh, okay. I don't check white on my. Oh. Shut your face. We're going to roll the tape. And right now, we're going to roll the tape. No, I said I don't check white. Okay, stop. No, no, no. Just gonna be audio. <laughs> so we are no, it was at my house. I think we had video. Okay, no, that's fine. I didn't say I checked white. I said maybe other. <laughs> but you said more business. You did. Because that's why the joke hits the I way it hits. Every piece of footage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. Not the blind on tape. Not Patrick's wow. voice in the back. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, man. I don't recollect. Of course you don't. But, but, you but also, you okay, that why this is interesting is not because I don't know if J Lo selects white on her census, but <laughs> what is what do people do yeah. when they have to select Hispanic or not Hispanic so and then a race? Hold on a second, because it's not because it's like Hispanic but not black. Right. Yeah. Hispanic <laughs> White, his and I'm like no. What? <laughs> <laughs> other, so, so I go to other, mm-hmm. and I do that, and then I walk away feeling a little shitty. Yes, yeah. okay, no, that's real. And that, mm-hmm. I, that is real. That is real. So because there's not a box for you, it's not because there's no box for. Why is that even there? That doesn't yeah. even make any sense. You're either Hispanic or Latino or whatever, or you're not. I've also been very like, curious it's about a that. Thing. But it's because everything else on there is a color. So let me let yeah. me say this too. But let me say this too. And, and, and again, I speak for me. This is my own personal observation. Why my Latinidad has to be connected to somebody's whiteness or somebody's blackness mm-hmm. is. What the fuck? Yeah. And well, why do I have to be connected to this or this? Mm-hmm. I mean, because I'm not. Oh, because I'm a little of both. Right. Or because it's a, which one and who do I then? And I mean, it's but it's a and it's a problem. Also, again, I we have colorism. Yeah. Right? yeah, we have colorism. We have whatever. So, I know that my grandmother and my mom, my my grandmother was like super proud of my mother because she was a, te- a secretary for a white man at a bank. If you had a white boss, it didn't matter what you were doing. Right. Your boss was white, and that was great. It's wow. a come up. Damn. But okay. why? I don't know why. Uh, I can't status? say why. But that's just the way it is. Because, but there, I believe this is what I believe. I believe that there is a group of people, and again. This is my own experience and in my own family, where if you, the, the closer you are to whiteness, mm. the, cl- mm. the better chance you have of making Succeeding. it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Can we and just, that's, and that that's proximity. really what everybody yeah. wants. Yes. Everybody just Access. wants the same thing. Everybody Access. wants to be able to live well, to have money, a house. To be able to go on vacation, buy things, do you know? Or to be like, a kept woman. Or, or, or that. <laughs> <laughs> or some, some want that too. Yes. But what I'm saying is that's, that's what they want. And ultimately, how do we get it? Whether it's right or wrong, you agree, disagree, it doesn't matter. This is what is. This is who's in charge. This is who you align yourself with. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This country. And I feel like, yeah, no, go ahead. I was saying, people coming, coming into this country as uh, Latinx have to, had to make a decision. and. There was a decision between white and black. There was no gray ground. And everybody who has come here from another country that may have been considered dark enough to pass as black has, and, and black people have fought for, for equal rights towards whiteness. Not even saying equal rights like for, for everything. I, but it's I, like, I just want what they, want, what they right, have. Yeah. Right. And we're fighting to want to be yes. white. Yeah. So Italians, uh, Irish, all, the, all these groups want to be white, not because 
they don't agree with there being a white or black, but white has access. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's, that's, it. that's sure. it. I mean, that, yeah. and I think and it's that clear that's... in that census question, like how it's written is like, the yeah. only ethnicities are Hispanic and non-Hispanic. Right. Like, <laughs> it's like ethnicity so, and right, so there's nothing, right. So there's nothing for me. Now, okay, how do you identify? What do you... I'm not from Latina now, but it, all my black friends, I didn't have any when I was younger because they were too busy throwing bottles. Mm. So, I mean, if we answer the question based off of what society wants to know about us, but, it, the question is, are you white or non-white? No, I think it's what white that's what I'm saying. want to know about that's us. What I'm Not saying. society, the white part. Yeah. You know, that's like, what I'm saying. How, how do we identify Who these people? Who wrote the people? question wants right. to know about us? Right. 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 <laughs> they just want to know, are you white like us or you're not? Right. Period. Right. Uh, this is the access you're granted. If you are, this is the access that you... Mm-hmm. And this is, you don't have. And we know what we're going to do with right, the rest. Right. Mm-hmm. And I'll just leave it at that. Are we going to yeah. gerrymander your neighborhood or not? Or not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> red lining. Oh, yeah. red lining. oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, that, that's, that's, a, that's a big part of it. It's not about, um, again, though, the, the lived experience for me has been far less about me being Puerto Rican and Hispanic or Latino, which is something that I absolutely love about our world now where we i say our world like here where we are able to okay there are some people who think when you do that you you want to separate why can't we all just be americans what yeah okay why can't we because every time we, right? we speak well, up about something that's all right y'all want to send us back because we, right, can. <laughs> we can't because you, you wrote that rule not me exactly. <laughs> you know like it's just that i didn't just I didn't choose that. Why did you right. this country? Well, when this country was formulated and the constitution no. y'all want us to like adhere to, we weren't or, considered citizens. Not so even like, a citizen, not even a whole person. Right. What do you no. mean? <laughs> so you, you, anyway, <laughs> there are, yep. it's, it's just so <laughs> deeply layered. No, yeah. So, so deeply layered because I'll sit here and I'll talk about all this Latinidad and I'll tell you how proud I am and I'll tell you all this and that. And in private, when somebody calls me Mexican, I'm like, because mm. I'm not. Right. But you're not. This means that that's. Uh, but I'm not, and it's not the same. Yeah. And I, no, I know a lot of Puerto Ricans who like tortillas, but I don't prepare them with my food. Mm-hmm. You we're, know, we're Mexican adjacent. We've claimed it. That's wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, love tortillas and tacos over here. But I mean, I do too. <laughs> but I'm saying it's, it's not. Like it's not gonna be cooked. But it's, it's not, not. It's not the same. No. I don't flavor the food the same. I don't. I don't. I do like Mexican food now, but I didn't really care for it before. The spices mm. are different. Mm. Don't say okay. you, you didn't care for it before, and now you love it. So what are you talking about? But, and I also <laughs> like it now, but it's an acquired taste. I had to grow up to like it. I did not. I don't like the mushy beans. Puerto no, Rican beans are bomb. Are I'm sure mushy I'm not, beans are bomb. I'm but, <laughs> mushy beans. But I don't refry beans. Refry, yes. I you know love. they're like they're mushy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Those. Okay. I don't like those, but it's not. But if I say I don't like that, it's like, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of I think there's a misconception of like yes. all yeah. Latin countries yes. all eat the exact yeah. same thing. We don't. Do the yeah. menus also, are so different. That, like eighty percent of the can you educate like, me on the menu? Hispanic yeah. restaurants yeah. in the U.S. are Tex-Mex. Yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's insane. <laughs> like, what, what are you gonna eat? I don't know. <laughs> this is this is. <laughs> This is not what I. I eat. don't like this. I want to go. <laughs> like I don't I like. I wanna go. <laughs> <laughs> love it. But you know, it's the reality. Oh, I love these questions. Do you also? <laughs> I mean, okay. So food, y'all know I like to cook. So I'm gonna ask this question. It's okay. gonna be a slight tangent, but do oh, you God. find that being from neat? Well, okay. So you. Maybe it's, ask it. Do you feel like Get living in New York, uh-huh. your menu is or like what you like to eat is different anyway, outside of just being. Well, being at, in New York City, you have I have a tongue for everything because everybody lives there right. and there is in the street without two restaurants in it, you know, right. and everybody's different and everybody. I love um, Indian food, too. Yeah. You know, I, I love all kinds of food not much food that i don't like right Amen. i eat everything and yeah. everything is delicious to me and everything is like oh and this comes from this place and this and it's that's different. part of the loving it for me yeah and that's just me though not everybody is like that there are some people who right. absolutely will never eat indian food because something ridiculous which i was going to say and now i'm not you know <laughs> but no i'm not 
So that's what I'm saying. They will, okay. they will, they will say no to certain foods because of who made, not who made it, but the culture. Yeah. Oh, I was about yep. to say, I'm only saying no if you no. got certain animals in your house, but. No, but I mean. Birds. So. <laughs> cats. That part. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't come for this. I'm sorry, it's right there. It was right there. I didn't come for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sick. I didn't come for this. Wait, so your me. father was Italian. Yeah. And black? Or Italian and Puerto Rican? Yes, Italian and Puerto Rican. My okay. grandfather from Sicily and my grandmother from Puerto Rico. Okay. Did he yeah. identify as black? My father? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Nobody identifies as black. That's the thing now. Right. Oh, and that, that's, that's kind of the point that I was trying to make earlier. I identified as black. I'm too Do you guys know what I'm saying? Yes. You were yes. talking to me. <laughs> yeah. You were talking to me. Yes. No, they didn't. There's okay. a very funny video uh, that Marley Rose, my daughter, that she sent me during there are some riots in New York. And there's a Dominican guy. I think it's a TikTok or something. He's on there. And he's telling people to keep going. I'm not black. Mm-hmm. And he's, he looks black. Right? And mm-hmm. he's saying he's not. He's, he's Dominican. Okay. And he's like, I'm not black. And Marley's like, mom. You know, and she can't, she can't understand this. Again, Marley. we grew up. She grew up here. Right. Um, Does she identify as black? Yes, absolutely. Okay, okay, okay. No, she absolutely Sorry. identifies. Now you're cutting off the words because I'm scared of saying. Does she identify? <laughs> no, she absolutely. <laughs> that. She does. Money Rose. Money Rose. Oh my God! Not what level is she? Is she black? Is she blicky black? I oh my here. god. I I'm sorry. Right? Okay. Just a second. I was just trying to clarify. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so he's like, I'm not black. So the household is trying to figure out why it's funny. And I guess all of TikTok is trying to figure out why this very black man is saying he's not black. <laughs> and it's like, guys, you don't understand. It's it's a cultural yeah. thing. And again, why uh, to my point just a few seconds ago, why isn't he a Dominican man? Why does he have to identify as a white person or a black person? Right. Mm-hmm. And that's the point that he's trying to make. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's the point that a lot of people try to make, but we can't make it too loud because we're pissing people off. Mm-hmm. The, the, the fight, excuse me, the fight, you, you have to be black or you have to be white. Oh, good. Okay. And, and I am, as stated, Afro Latina, extremely extremely thrilled with that right i love everything that i am i love how i look i love how i talk i love what i eat i love what's in my soul i love it man i aspire having to having other people tell me what i should do Mm -hmm. or how i should identify or what's better for me i'm good right here yeah I don't need you. I, I, I don't need you to be comfortable with me. Ooh, mm-hmm. I'm comfortable yeah. with yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in, in all of it, in a room of black people and in a room of white people, I'm, I'm here because half of the black people are not quite black. Mm. Still, mm. in this room, I'm fine. You guys know me. You in love room, me. You're a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, well, <laughs> welcome to the nigga room. It's <laughs> <laughs> the proud moment. <laughs> welcome <laughs> to the nigga room. It's just great. <laughs> <laughs> so I much. Always, I always wanted to be one. <laughs> <laughs> so much nigga love here. I love it here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, okay. But anyway, the point is that you know it's, it's difficult. For the person who isn't, who doesn't want to, it's not about denying your blackness or deli- I love it all. I have three things. I'm not, I'm not super. And maybe that's my own, you know, what I lean to. I'm not super excited about Spaniards in particular. Mm. I'm not, I'm not looking. Say more, say more. I, I'm not looking to be more European. Mm. I'm not looking to, to identify with the, I, I'd like to know, you know. But it's not like I I'm I'm Spaniard, you know, or whatever. I'm European and 
it's ridiculous. It's yeah. a ridiculous thing. Tell me what country in Africa my people. Yeah. I want to know. Yeah. I, wa- I want to know th- those kinds of things. And again, so maybe that is a I lean towards this or I lean towards that because I'm not because as far as whiteness is concerned or as far as being a white adjacent is concerned, <laughs> um, I do fine. But there's no there's not a whole lot of privilege here. Right. There's not anything that I have that I didn't work for because both sides have a problem with me. Mm. Me. Mm. Yeah. And that's not everybody's walk. Right. So the, the video that you played earlier, the clip, the culture clip that you mm. guys played, I saw the guy. His name is Miguel. He, he looks pretty Puerto Rican to me. I don't know who, how he's passing for white. Who thinks you're white? Look. <laughs> is, what I, is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. who thinks that? Like, it reminds me too, because we were talking like, um, I was, I don't know how I got on this, but BuzzFeed had a list of like Latino people you probably didn't realize were Latina. <laughs> one of the <laughs> it was, <laughs> one of the white people. Yes. And one of them was Cameron Diaz. I completely ignored me her too. last name. Me too. And just assumed she was a white woman because she looks white to me. And I and, it, and we were just talking about because they were like, oh wow, she is <laughs> because but I'm curious if she identi- identifies as that as well. Like, or is she you know, I don't know, but I forgot that. Does she embrace her culture? I guess is what I I'm don't know asking. what she identifies as, but I assume she was a white woman until I looked. I was like, oh wow, her last name is Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> like, and there were so many people in there too. I think. Um, don't get me lying. I don't remember. She was the only one. That was, yeah. <laughs> don't get me to lie. You're the only one talking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did not even ask, but okay. I was gonna say that boy that has got all that plastic surgery. He looks like Captain America. Oh. Um, the white boy that broke his jaw. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jack or er, Zach? Efron? Yes, Jack, a- Jack Efron. Oh. I think he's Zach. Like, Zach, not Jack. <laughs> right, Zach Jack Efron. <laughs> One of the white guys. I don't know. I think he's he cute. also might be. His he's jaw is like very like. No, he looks no. like um the boys like. He yes. does. Okay, no, that's a really. I was like, a, I was gonna say some superhero that has like a very pronounced jawline, like overly pronounced. But yeah, yeah that, you, you know, it. I didn't know. Or like Buzz Lightyear. Like um, that's who reminds me. Hispanic. Of. Um, uh, t- Walker, Texas Ranger. Uh, Chuck oh, Norris. Chuck Norris. You said he's Hispanic. Mm-hmm. I did not I did know, not know that. know that. Oh, I could mm, not gonna be an, an American it, icon. I know. That's what's great. <laughs> yeah, I love it too. <laughs> that's interesting. Do you think they know? His name is Carlos. What do you say they? Are you meaning the white people? Yes. (laughs) Fully. That's exactly who I mean. You know what? Zach Efron is not his (laughs) fit. I had to look up. (laughs) That's why GTS is important. Google that shit. (laughs) You want to have a don't tell me to lie? You said said, don't tell me to lie. I did. It was some other. He is very white. He is German. I forgot. We all have our moments when we lie. That um is not white, but it was not him. I'm sorry, Zac Efron. Oh, sorry man. to this man. <laughs> sorry, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was someone else. Sorry. Okay. Right. We'll I'm dying today. Anybody got a question? <laughs> Asking all these questions. Oh my. Oh God, I cannot. Okay. I have a question. I just had a, a thought about like what you were saying about like not wanting to be like forced into one box or the other, mm-hmm. and I think it's like really interesting in terms of. I feel like, and this is my experience again. Not I. I completely acknowledge like what you're saying about Lexi. um. What? <laughs> no, not that experience. That's not mine. Um, <laughs> about um, be, like people throwing bottles at you, and I like know that that is. I'm hoping it's a generational thing. I'm hoping it's not still happening now, but I'm sure that there are experiences of that still occurring. Neither here nor there. I think that for us, like accepting and I accepting is not the right word because it sounds like we're like uh trying to allow you in the door. And Mm -hmm. that's not how I mean it. Mm -hmm. But like of um, Latina or like Latin X like culture is like us acknowledging that we're not white. (laughs) So like it's not it's not that. Like, I know you're not black, but like, I also am like, yeah, come on over. <laughs> like, it's like, it's like that for me, but I also like, am so jealous of people who know their roots. Cause like, yeah. even like with Patrick, like last week, yeah. we went to, but, we I, were in but I don't. To some degree. 
I know b- about as much as you do. You know, you're Puerto Rican. I just know I'm black. Right. Honey, I know I'm Puerto Rican. What create what made a Puerto Rican? We, I just went through that. Right. So it's indigenous mm-hmm. people. But then the other two are complete. I don't I don't know. Well, also an Italian. But look, no, no, no. And, but, but I don't, and I don't mean that in any like way. Where but I'm listen, to... so my grandfather's Sicilian, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> S- Sicily is the shithole of Italy because that's where all the dark skinned ones are because through trade is where all the African people yeah. came. Mm-hmm. Sicilians yeah. are darker. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. So I- I'm sorry. Okay. I didn't mean to take over your point, no, but no, I'm no, saying okay. I'm saying I don't either. But I I don't it, know the roots either. Go ahead. Okay. But I understand to the extent that you wish you knew and don't. Okay. But I don't even know as much as you know. Okay. So like well, that's where I'm coming from. I understand. Because like from the standpoint of like walking with Patrick like through New York and like going to like various like places to get food and like him knowing that he's like Guyanese and Jamaican, I'm like, wow. Must be nice. Yeah. <laughs> like when people ask me, they're like, oh, like, oh, he's Japanese. He's Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I don't that know. Ain't it. This is wrong. He's Japanese. Wrong nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I was gonna say Jamaican and Guyanese and come out Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> people like when he introduces himself he's like oh like where are you like where is your family from like where are you from and he's like oh i'm guyanese and jamaican and then they turn to me and they're like where are you from and i'm like or sometimes they don't <laughs> they're, just, like, they're like oh you're black like i get it i'm just like i'm black <laughs> Embarrassing at this point, but there is like at no turn. It's not just because I'm like I'm older. I know. Yeah. Like, where but my if you take ancestry from. DNA and you see your percentage, I can know, I but start I... saying like, can I start saying I'm Nigerian? Probably. Probably. Yeah. If you are, I mean, not to Nigerians, but <laughs> 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 that's not a conversation you want. And this is right. you're Nigerian. You're helping you outside. You <laughs> <laughs> <You're> still just. <laughs> like... oh, so okay. Somebody asks you what tribe are you going to be in trouble? Yes. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. I am. I don't, oh my I don't God. know. Whatever the DNA say. <laughs> All that to say is the layers. Yes. They are. Yeah. Everything is so, so layered. I, when I was asked to come, it was so important for me to just let you guys know that I speak for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I speak for me because amongst my other Latina friends and um, I'll just say even just Puerto Rican, even just my family. The the idea of who we are is so vastly different. The older people will always, will mostly want to identify as white, Mm -hmm. identify um, that that's better because what they see is better. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you ever like, Learned behavior. Talk to them about like. Uh, is that ever been a conversation? So, yeah, in you know. I, uh, yeah, I have. <laughs> I have had lots of conversations. So, I've been married twice. Both of my husbands are black, right? And I like. It's what I like. <laughs> you got a type. I, feel you. I, I, you got a type. I, I have a type, right? I feel you. Okay. So growing up with that, it was always. I'm not gonna say who, but I had a I had a family member say. To me, the blacker, the uglier, the better for Rachel. Like, that is how they oh. viewed my choices. Oh, I was like, wait a minute. What yeah. Chad. It's terrible. Because me, I'm thinking like the blacker, the berry. Mm, mm, okay. Mm, mm. Uh, come down, come down. 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 You know, with that, with wow, believe I don't know that I believed it, but knowing that other people, the people that mm, I loved, perceive that very much, yeah, perceived it that, ugh, you know, or if wow. oh, if it's a black man, well, and okay. I was just like so unfair. So mm-hmm. then, can I ask this? Yeah. Then how do they perceive your children? So I'm gonna tell you how they perceive my children. <gasps> They're not that black. Because you, made, so the, because you lightened, you lightened the salt. This, this, yeah. Because like, if it's, they were that black, it's okay. They, it would be worse. Wow. It, it's okay. It's okay because you know, or, 
or they're cute. That they're handsome. So that's that they're handsome. It's, Do they say that? Oh. Yeah, well, they say that they're good looking people. Mm-hmm. So because they're good looking, that makes them or Ooh. it's a compliment, but it feels like oh, it is no, it's a, it's horrible. It's that yeah. made my it's heart horrible. Beat fast. It's absolutely horrible. It, it so and these are people. This is my family. These are people that I love. Mm. These are people that I love. I have a memory, a very specific memory of my grandmother, Puerto Rican woman. You saw her husband died. My grandfather died. And there was a man, a black man who used to come, (laughs) Reggie, who used to come and sit with my grandmother. He'd sit with her. That's what they did. They just, I'm sure they did more. But they just sat. They read books. Well, whatever. They sat, right? And he, (laughs) he would come to her house. A few times a week, he lived in the same building and he would wear his um, military uniform and he'd just be, he'd call her Jenny. My grandmother's name is Juanita <laughs> and he called her Jenny. Okay. Did she ask me to call Jenny? No. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it no, come No, but from? you see this both ways. He just decided yeah. he couldn't say it. Or... Well, I don't know, but this okay. is what I'm talking oh, about. Okay. It's, it's, so he it's, made it's, her it's his both white ways. Woman. Okay. So he made her his Jenny. So he I'm called her saying. Jenny, right? But. She would always say, and he just, he just loved her so much. Loved her. And she's always, Reggie, you know, I can't marry you because you're black. Like, you can't. So just come over. Like, Uh, we can, we can do this, but I can't marry you. We can read papers together. Like, this is crazy. And yeah. Wow. And there are whole families like that. That's not, that's not just. A black experience because I oh, have right. friends now in my adult life. You're not going to be with who you love. Right. You're not going to be, you know, the lighter, the better. The So I actually was just watching a movie last night. Um, I don't know if I should, I'm, I'm not going to plug it. It was, it's a movie that was just recently released on Netflix, like literally yesterday. Okay. So I was watching it with my mom and um, I guess the whole plot is like, two people like kind of like notebook style love uh-huh, each other uh-huh. um one is fair skin the other, he's a black man uh-huh. and um her mom comes in swoops her away but they're also both very light skin but then they they flip the story like they move to another place and then become white people okay because i guess they're passing mm-hmm. okay in some ways and to your point we're like i'm gonna the mom I'm going to make your life miserable if you won't accept your whiteness. Right. And I'm like, I'm literally watching the movie like, like, this is crazy. Like, you were literally, I don't even want to say hanging a care over your daughter's head so then that way you can benefit, so that you can have a come up, if you will. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, but that's, it. I don't know when, when the movie is set in, like, the time period, yeah, it, but there is a period of time when that, it wasn't, I don't want to say, it's it's not, Far fetched. It's not ridiculous. Right. You are just trying to survive. Yeah. Right. But what's the benefit now? The benefit. I don't know what the benefit is now, but I'm sure that there is some benefit now, yeah. even some with all the access still. that well, we have. We still. Everybody is still kind of living where they live. Right. Yeah. You think about we we on this podcast alone, we've talked about uh, pay, right? Disparities off off. There is a benefit, whether or not we would like to admit to it or not. There is a benefit for right. passing. How you were treated when you go out somewhere. Yeah. Is Sorry, is? Yeah. I don't mean that like uh, in the literal sense. I mean uh, that like if you're already in love with a black guy uh, and you're sorry. like, I can't marry you. But is, if white guys aren't looking at you, then why not? Like if this or is where you found love yeah. and that's not like what is a real option for you, then what is the benefit at this stage? But, like it used to be like a societal, a class thing. I'm literally not allowed to marry you. Right. But now that's not the case. Okay. And that's the life question. That's the, I mean, that's a life question. That's the thing that I was referencing when I said that the younger generations are better at this yeah. life thing. They're better at the love thing yeah. because they are accepting, because they under, it's. It's a contract. It's made up. Yeah. And the barriers <laughs> are, you know, they're kind of being. Not as literal. Right. They're blurred. Yeah. You know, things yeah. are being torn well, down. I don't now. even know if they're as much blurred as this. We have to remember too, that the, the value system has changed. I think the value system has been like before it was like success and maybe like a little bit of love. But or like you know, have money and access. And maybe if love's in there, great. But let's get this access. Whereas now it's we seemingly have the same amount of access, but I value love 
more than I value the the success. I'll roll with you in the dirt over love more so than I will try to like, you know, back in the day it was like, no, we already know what it's going to be. Well, well, part of that is true, but okay. we're also talking, if we're talking about Rachel's grandmother, we're also talking about someone living in a time where it is literally not allowed, right. like legally. Right. right. Like, That's not true. That's another way of it. Right. Yeah. True. And yeah. I, I've written about that too, like a million times. When you look about the love that is not allowed, my grandfather and my grandmother from Sicily and Puerto Rico, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And they had nine children. You want to talk about the color spectrum. Mm. There are people. I have aunts and uncles on my dad's side of the family. So my dad was the second oldest of nine. So I have eight that are every shade from dark Mm -hmm. to real white Mm. and everything, everything in between. That's what I that's what I grew up with. Mm -hmm. So. I did not view color as a factor for love. Mm. I didn't have to because it's in literally in my that's house. True. That's true. Right. For other people, so I knew that love was possible. My grandma, well, my grandmother, and my grandfather from Puerto Rico, they're, you know, they kind of look not, not like the same, but, you know, they're the same complexion, they're light skin. They're, again, this white passing thing is a, a regional thought for me. I never heard that mm. until I moved here. Mm. Never, mm. never. I don't, in New York, I mean, is that something? I don't know. I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. And also I'm looking at the people and I'm like, you, you're clearly not white. Clearly not white. You, you're clearly this or that um, or whatever. The, the access that we have to information, all, everybody online and access to, other cultures and other people in other cities, other towns, other countries, we we can see that now. So a lot of what keeps us <laughs> together. <laughs> a lot of what keeps us together wow. is you can see. Yes. You can now see that. Our you can s- and our guest had to be the first one to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see what you know. You can see that ultimately. What are the things that are important? Uh, me, as far as I'm concerned, this is a Rachel thing. Love is the beginning and the end of everything for me. Mm. It's the beginning and the end of everything. And so across every state line, every border, every whatever, you'll understand that humans are humans and that's our superpower. Right, yeah. yeah, And that's, you know, and so now that we have access to that, now that we can see that, the differences are lessened. Yeah, I do think New York is a very um, unique place. Yes. Whereas differences are celebrated yes. and everyone is very, very proud <laughs> of who they are and where they come from. Differences are not only celebrated, they're also people don't give <laughs> yeah. There's too much to do. And also, you guys live in communities, right? Whereas like a lot of Puerto Ricans live in the same this area a lot of caribbeans live oh right? yeah there are yes like pockets of they places are, yes whereas here we all well the three of us grew up in northern virginia are you're white. basically white or something else yeah so i think where we're talking about like passing as white or afro latina or whatever we were very it was very clear yes that we're black yeah we're not white yeah they're um and everyone's if you can pass as white you probably would because you're, it's either you're white or you're not. You know what I mean? Like I it's completely very know what you mean. I, and, and just another, another, again, life experience for me. So I move here. I, I know I'm Puerto Rican, right? No, but, and, and I, I'm not going to say that I experienced personally racism also because I was very young and probably didn't recognize some racist mm-hmm. things that I was experiencing. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I got here and everybody let me know very quickly that I was not white. Yeah. yeah. I have been asked if I'm a housekeeper. Jeez. I have been asked, I, I have been asked um who go ahead, say it. <laughs> say it. I have been asked if my daughter was mine. Marley. If Mar does her mother know that blah 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 blah? Oh that was her, her mother. mother. Did you up her that person? No, her mother. <laughs> I am her mother. Oh. <laughs> Scurry away. You know, and it's, it's just like, an, does her mother know? You know, it, the um, audacity. Caucasity, yeah. is that like? 
that that people have to just impose their ignorance mm. on you you know for whatever it is it's just it's astounding here i feel yeah. that, especially though. with the county that you live in yes as well it is astounding it's also very bold here yeah which, which is um, i don't know if it's like that everywhere <laughs> yeah well it's 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 like bold and politically correct and with the intent of like not being like overt but it's very clear but instead <laughs> just jab you in the throat yeah, yeah. <laughs> no it's um it it's uh i was told very quickly what i wasn't and, and I spent a lot of time in a place. I just told you I went to high school in Williamstown, Massachusetts. I promise there isn't a whiter town in the United States, I right? It. Williamstown, and, Massachusetts. You know, yes. I mean, for that. Not, I mean no, we're no, doing, we have two of the three not, colonies not where of I'm 13, I feel like. Okay. <laughs> and, and maybe now. I don't know. You know, the, that was high school for me. That was a long time ago, right? So I don't know. And it's a college town technically, but not a school where there's a huge number of black students. Like we all knew each other. There were eight of us in my house. For two years or for one year, seven of us, mostly, uh, most of us from New York City, one um, young man from Rhode Island. Um, but everybody is black or Latino. Wait, right? so you weren't living in with- my house. I lived in a house. <laughs> Off campus? I lived on a house on Williams oh, okay. College okay. campus. And I went to the local high school. Okay. Uh, which was a public school mm-hmm. through the ABC program. Google it. A better chance. Kids going from the inner cities who are intellectually advanced to go to mm. private school. Oh, you smart. Smart. She said she's yeah. smart. Yeah. She can. <laughs> she is important. No, but wait a minute. Senior year, someone asks me. Uh, I I sang right. So there's a big concert. Senior Ooh, year. So the next day after this thing, we're in the senior reading room, and this boy who's my friend, white boy. Love him. He's like, so Rachel, can all black women sing? And I was like, um, I don't know. Are all white men doctors? And he's like, well, See? no. But then I said, also, I'm not black. The entire room was like, <gasps> what? First of all, this was the end of my senior year. That was a nicer response than I would have been. Because the moment oh, he said, can all black women sound all white men's dick little? No. Oh, I wouldn't have said that. <gasps> but... That's I did. What, sorry, I mean, to be clear, sorry, that's where I thought it was going to go. I don't know. I, no, no, no. I, I, mean, I didn't say that. Also, also you wildin'. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I, I also didn't know about. Huh. That's not no, true. That's fair. Fair. I don't know either. That's I didn't know. know. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know <laughs> that they weren't or that they're. That's so. why I say it. It's just me being rude. <laughs> Per usual. Anyway, but, go but, ahead. So, it, so then. Y'all talk about me. That's. It usually is you, okay? Today you decided to talk about talked about. <laughs> but go ahead. That's uh, not knowing you wasn't black. Yeah. I mean, right. it, was, it was that. It was like you're, the whole room. You don't care. Like you're everyone looking at you like, and but you're looking at all of like that. Not only that, not only, that not, only did, not only was I black, apparently they thought I was a troubled kid from the city. <gasps> yes. Define troubled. Which is insane because every student trouble mean ghetto or no, like what's their trouble? No, they meant troubled. Like, well, getting in trouble. Oh, right. right. And, like, and I had to leave. Oh, okay. yes. Hold on that's a second. Crazy. But it wasn't. But look, that's not what I, it wasn't. I went to the local high school, but so they wasn't gifted and talented. <laughs> no, they were not. But the, what oh, I found that makes more sense. No, but what I found crazy <laughs> about it was every single person who graduates from this program goes to Brown or Stanford or like, what do you mean? Like, how do you think we're we're like, so are we affirmative actioning all the way? Because wow. that's where the kids were going to school when I graduated. Wow. They were all do- a- MIT. I yes. Mm. But I mean, that's not accidental either. Like the Ivies are regional. <laughs> if you think about it. Yeah. Well, not stand. Well, I mean, what do you the majority? What do you what do you mean? Like, what are you getting at towards in terms of black, I guess, and brown people? Um Mm-hmm. Where the Ivies are for the majority, not all of them, mm-hmm. are She's in the access areas. of those that go to them. Not all, obviously. Mm-hmm. Uh, proximity, regionality mm-hmm. is a big piece of that puzzle. Yeah. And, and while they want to talk about affirmative areas. action and blah blah blah, there's an element that doesn't go as mm-hmm. as it, that isn't discussed as okay. much. That is just as big of a player in knowing yeah. the schools that you should go to or. You know, your friend, when you were a freshman and they were a junior, they went there. And all of that is a form of that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, for me to have them think or some or whoever was in the room at the moment or whatever, to have anybody think that not just me, but all of us were, you know, problem kids again who had to be shipped out to behave somewhere, you know, in a house like that was just so crazy to me. It was insane. Like like it's my senior year and I'm your friend and you think I'm like a troubled child from. Is this is my senior year? I'm your friend. I'm homecoming queen. Okay. You know, I, that's not, I'm not saying it for that. I'm saying like, you, I love right. it here. You guys love me. Or do they? They did. Because they do today. Okay. That's they cool. do today. Yeah. Okay, and, and I'm just, I know. I know. I'm sorry. I think that was a flex. But it's not on purpose. It? It's not on purpose. The point is that my superpower is cultivating relationships and it always has been. Come on, right. And that's, that's what. That's what this is about. That's why this conversation was important to me and why it was important for me to say that I, I don't speak for everybody because I also know I'm very special. Mm. So with that, I have, I have the experience of meeting people where they are because they were not going to meet me. Mm. Mm. And I could live the life being angry about the bottles. I could be... If I were a serial killer, based on the things that I have endured and experienced in my life, no one would bat an eye. They'd be like, mm, they earned it. Right. But I'm not. It's my absolute purpose to do nothing <laughs> but love as hard as I can. Because I know what I've experienced. I know what I've lived through. I know what is possible on, the, on this end of things. And I'm want to tell you that it doesn't have to be ugly and hard and and ugly yeah it doesn't it doesn't have to be but i do speak for myself and it and and as as a latina it's um it's important that you know that being latina is a broad spectrum yes it's huge it's huge and um and there'll be others again the conversation will be very different. The experience will be very different. The um, again, I have a a flag on my purse, but I will not put a flag anywhere else. I think it's obnoxious, right? Yeah. At one point, I had a flag dress. Oh, I wore it to the Puerto Rican Day Parade. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Yeah, I did it one time. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> People just wanted to do things with the star. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> so the where point- was the star? <laughs> she said do things with the star oh, she I, said I missed it with the star. <laughs> okay. but that's the, the, the pride you know of it all it's like it exists and you don't hear about it a lot because there are two forces fighting really loud and I'm not saying that it is not warranted I'm not saying that it's not valid I'm just saying you're not alone Yeah. and that's my connection to you that's my I, I'm I'm with you. We fight the same fights. We I I'm, though, a lot more invisible than you are. I don't have a Dr. King. I don't have a. um, Who's the. uh, Malcolm Rosa Park, Malcolm X. I'm thinking about Malcolm X is who I was just thinking about. And Farrakhan is actually yeah. what I was just those with it. I don't have that. Yeah. What I know about my culture and my history, I literally have to read about. There's nobody screaming out here. Yeah. Sonia Sotomayor is a Supreme Court justice. I have that. What do you know about her? I read a book. Good. Okay. But that is it. Was it cast? I brought it. You want me to pull it out? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but, you know, so there are things to learn. There are people to, to, to know about. There are... <sighs> It's the same fight. Yeah. It's the same fight. And eventually, I hope we get to the part where we realize it's a lot more about money than it is race. Mm. The, the, because there are a lot of Ooh, poor white people word. who really don't understand the thing of white privilege. Like, genuinely, they don't get it. Genuinely. They genuinely don't get it. Not because they're stupid. Not because they're, they <laughs> don't, you know, want to... Be, they genuinely don't get it. Yeah. Because their lived experience has afforded nothing 
in the way of privilege. Yeah. As far as they're concerned. Right. And, you know, so there's a there's a whole economic thing, you know, to discuss. That's a whole whatchamacallit. But, you know. Wow. So. There's le- levels to this shit. Yes. Yeah, so oh, many. So, yeah. So many. I think that's the beauty of diversity, though, is knowing that, no, we, we're snowflakes. Mm. We're not cook. I mean. We're all we are. Everybody in is what way? different. Like we're all we're different. Very different. different. <laughs> sorry, that, that phrase is really sorry. for me since sorry. That's what I just, like to describe I'm millennials like, like, we're, like we're soft. What you heard? <laughs> that's not what I meant. Meaning that we're all very, meant. very, like, very we're all white. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of this podcast. We're all white. No, I'm no. saying that we're all beautifully unique. Like yeah. we're all like I don't think. Anybody in this room has the same exact experience as one another. We have things where we can resonate with, but we don't have all the same exact experiences. Right. Right. My, um, what is it that my alignment Mm -hmm. with black culture is because it's my culture. Mm -hmm. Right. It's not because I'm trying to be something I'm not. Right. It's my culture. Right. I'm made of the same stuff. Yeah. I got some different things. So respect that. Yeah. Not you. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. saying yeah. in the big in picture. General, yeah. No, in the in the big picture. In the big right. picture. Maybe maybe somebody doesn't want to have to choose between this or this. There are far more things to choose from. Mm-hmm. You know, and I am one of those people who, in any room, in any room, I'm an Afro-Latina. In every room, I'm an Afro-Latina. And I'm, I'm tickled by that. I'm pleased. I'm happy. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, it's everybody else mm. that has a problem, mm. you know, with what that means and why it has to be and you're just saying that because, and if it wasn't for Cardi B or whoever, maybe not. Mm. Maybe not. That's what visibility is about. Yeah. That's what representation is about. That's what, maybe not. Mm-hmm. Maybe now because now, you know, mm-hmm. I'm referencing J-Lo. I understand. Maybe now because now. Maybe now because she's 50. There are things that I thought and believed when I was younger that I cannot believe. Same. <laughs> Same. Sure. I think you about know? it daily. I'm yeah. like, wow, you really went in on that. Yeah. Shout out to my Facebook so, memories. Shout right. <laughs> right. out to my personal memories. <laughs> so wrong. So, anyway. Did we? Okay. Did we cover yeah. yeah. everything? Yeah. 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 Yes. Thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much for being here. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank I you. love you guys. I love you too. I love, I love you. I love this. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was great. Now's your time to shine. All right. So one thing we're going to do <laughs> is tangent. <laughs> I feel like we're opening a sitcom every time we do that. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Main character is Tiff. <laughs> um, I feel like it's not actually every time we do this. Um, okay. What's something that's not considered a love language that should be? Bringing me food. That's I feel like gifts. that is. It's acts of service. Oh, and then oh, gifts. And gifts. Oh. Actually, I got one. What, okay, so <laughs> that's all the question. Nervous. The first thing I thought of, I was like, "Sex." But it, uh, touch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I was right. <laughs> we all knew what it was. Right. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> the fact that yours was still yours. <laughs> I mean, no apologies. Both of them. Both of them. Very <laughs> Exactly. Mine is laughing about something that no one else will like ever understand until you're like breathless. Like that moment that no one like you can't like then like go tell the moment to someone else, right? And they it. understand. They'll like be looking at you like you're dumb when you were like, were like exasperatedly laughing. No, it's that one. Um, what? Um, I just deleted it. I'm it's, sorry. I won't repeat it next week. What? Uh, what? Think it, should what? Should consider the yeah, uh, love language, language is, is not. not. I got mine. Mine is being quiet. Oh, that's a good one. I actually love that. Is that how you want the twins to love you? Yes. <laughs> wow. No, but as soon as you said that, I was like, 
I feel like all the other oh, ones are pretty yes, well yeah. and fully encompassing. Yeah. But the one that they, that people have not talked about that I feel Quietness. like is important is just sometimes I want to sit with you. Yeah. I don't talk about nothing. And it doesn't feel awkward. Right. Yeah. I don't like, feel like forced or like like there has to be some conversation could that that's happening. Could be quality time? It could be. But also you don't have to be there and still be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't be in the other room. Hey, that's be quiet. Be quiet. Too. I mean, honestly, sometimes I you don't need. Well, you don't even like to. Be, I don't. You don't like anybody to touch you. So I don't. sometimes or be near me. To right. Be so like, go yeah. in the other room. Let it be quiet and be leave. quiet together, but not together. And leave. That is that is a love language in itself. So no, no it don't have to be, we don't have to be there. It can be parks taken together or apart, but just quiet. Like, I do. I do want you to like bring me something to eat and then leave. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I'm sick. Woo. Do you have one, Rachel? No, I would actually say I think about love languages a lot. I think that I would say the fact that one love language can be insufficient. I think that my love language is all of them. Okay, yeah, and I think that it's situational. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that um. When I need a gift, I need a gift. When I need, you know, to be touched. <laughs> it's relational too. Have you, you know, ever it, taken the quiz? Yeah, I have. Oh, okay. And are I, you like evenly spread? Because I know that happens sometimes. Yeah. Okay. And I, which tells me that it's not one or the other. It's not one more than the other. It's the it's, it's the expression. Love, right? I oh. if if I recognize that you love me then how you love me will resonate if if in right. certain situations yeah, yeah. In, in most situations yeah in most situations no and there there are other people who receive love in different ways i've i don't know other people who encompass all of them like i do you know there are some people who again i i think about gift giving in mm-hmm. particular because i'm thinking of someone in particular where it's just like and and actually that person loves how they want to be loved Right. Well, oh, okay. Yeah. And they don't realize it. I don't I don't love you like you want to be loved. I love you like I want to be loved yeah. because that's what I'm full of. That's what the desire is. Right. Mm-hmm. So maybe instead of something that isn't a love language, just understanding that you don't have to choose one. All of them. That they are. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, I like that a lot. But I like the food thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not yeah. kidding. Just, yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm not kidding at all. I I never thought of that. <laughs> I think about it daily. <laughs> I'm not Are you also the person that lies? Do you want anything from the store? No, I'm good. I am. I'm also eating whatever you bought in the house. <laughs> just checking. I, I can't help it. I don't, I don't want to avoid it. I, I just never know what I want to eat Smart. either. <laughs> it's, just, well, it's certain things that like once the smell is in the house, like it's yeah, too late. Like it. if I smell French fries or I smell popcorn, like I'm eating something. Yeah, I, I don't want to eat before I smelled it. But yeah, same. Same. Or like it's <laughs> sweet. Sometimes I know I don't need it. I don't really want it when you ask me. But if you bring a cookie or a cake in the house, I'm now absolutely getting a bite. Everybody gets yeah. everybody gets something because I am. That's why I always bring duplicate of the shit that I bring home because I'm like. Mm-mm. But I also don't eat my stuff mine. either. See, and that's what I'm saying. So I'm bringing you some too. Right. That's fair. Catch. I love that about you. I do. Do you have a meme of the week? I do. Oh. It's not about meme of the week. Okay. So this. Welcome to our chaos. So glad to be here. We have a sound about you, but we'd rather use our voices. That is a love language. So this week comes from um, Baller Alerts page. It's from Count and Z's. And they said, my favorite line when I'm drunk is, I ain't even that drunk. Whole time I can't see. <laughs> I ain't even. I ain't even. Give me one more. Come on, man. The whole time I can't feel things. The whole time. I'm like, I, I feel like I lose touch. Like if my body gets tingly, but I'm like, I'm not even that drunk. <laughs> Girl, I'm going to need you to know how to eat one drink away. Are you okay right now? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm going to drink a sweet tea. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about it. It's in my cup. Right. It's my cup. My Shout out to the prophet, Little Wayne. Oh. 
Sorry. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. What's next? Yeah. So our effort shade is next. I don't yeah. know, Rachel, if you know, but Ooh. this is the part of our uh, episode that we affirm our listeners uh-huh. while also being our shady self and true to whatever we feel. But usually it has to do with the topic. But if it's not one we've learned from Tiff, it can be off the dome. You know, <laughs> you've gotten better, Tiff. You've gotten better. You've gotten gotten better. I just be sitting here minding my business and get attacked <laughs> daily. <laughs> No, wow. Never. Wow. Never. Well, she never. said never. 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 Whatever. Never. 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 You haven't said a big word in a long time. Wait, wait, wait oh. you didn't. You did it all this episode. <gasps> Dang. Are you y'all telling me I'm falling off? Or like, I feel like it's wait, we haven't more than a compliment. We haven't. She's probably going to use some word we never heard well, of before. Well, now I'm not. I'm not using my words. Five. Whole letters and smaller. Can you say those five letters? <laughs> no, that's six. six. <laughs> oh, well. Quick whatever. math in public. <laughs> whatever. Uh, anyway. anyway. I appreciate uh, it. Want me to go Who first? Wants to start? Yes. No, you can't. Uh, uh, no, oh. let's I go first. Let's let's start. Start. Sure once goes first. Oh, okay. Fair enough. You want her to close? <laughs> no. Okay. I don't know. I feel like, a, I like it when she closes, but go ahead and start. I feel like it's more pressure when she, there's only one person left and she goes. Okay. So we can all just I'm trash by her. She's here. She's right here. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah. Weird. I I'm, I'm knew here for you know that she's here. Yep. Yeah. Okay. 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 This is love. Oh, yeah, this is real love. Yeah. I, I feel I, it. I'm crying shame. laughing today. All right. So, um, a little language. Think... Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> for sure. All right. So, my after shade for our listeners today, I think, is we talked and discussed on here about something that really is a made up thing. People have made up what race is, right? Mm-hmm. So, this is something that has been. It's an arbitrary thing. It's an arbitrary line that has been set for us to achieve towards and whatnot. So I guess I want to affirm for our listeners that your level of success and what your life looks like is not based upon anybody's arbitrary anything. You define your own success. You define what is going to happen to you and what will, will not. Now, don't get me wrong. I understand that we deal with laws and all the other things, but I know that you don't. you only have to work within and seek for the level of success that you want for yourself. So I affirm for our listeners, one, that who you are is exactly who you are supposed to be. You define your own identity in this moment. So it has nothing to do with anybody else. And once you've made that definition of not only your identity, but your success, success, rise to those. Don't worry about what anybody else has to say or do, because once you've been able to achieve those things, the sky's the limit. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go. I want to wow. say. you being concise. Too. Um, Thanks. Try you're top two, but you're not number two. You're Thank one you, of one. <laughs> oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, I just think, um, yeah, you should, like, you're, every one of us, we're unique. Also, another Beyonce um, reference. <laughs> unique? Um, you are, like, like you said, you're perfectly yourself. You are you. You are one of one. There's no one else like you. Who you are as an individual is enough. There will no one be a better you than you, and you should mm. stand very firm in um in that. That's what I'm gonna go with. Mm. Who's going next? Okay, you don't have to go, you Rachel. Want... If you don't, Mm-mm. okay, I'll go. Um, I'm more or less echoing what Saya has already mentioned. You define who you are as an individual, and whatever that looks like, whatever culture you celebrate, whatever identity you resonate with. Um, right, just Nicole be... identifies as white. <laughs> And we still claim her, apparently. Even though she doesn't claim us. Because <laughs> I don't like these heifers. <laughs> but anyway. So if you want to be a white woman, you can be a white woman. <laughs> you stand in your white woman. Me and Rachel will stand firm to you. stand in your white woman. Rachel said she did No, sorry. Not this Rachel. Rachel said white woman. Don't stop. She don't stand with you either. Rachel can be a black woman. I can be a white woman if I choose to. Anyway. Oh, my God. Can I stop? 
Stanley's. I wasn't even talking about Miss Rachel. What's her name? I was talking about the Rachel Lou. I was talking about the Miss Rachel Lou. I was talking about the Miss Rachel Lou. She changed her name to something more Nigerian. Yeah, it's yeah. like shot. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Y'all are more common because Richard Dolls all identifies as a Nigerian too. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> So, you know what I have here. Just be the best you you can be. And don't like none of these hoes. Not nail one. Not nail. Oh, man. Oh, my side hurt. Okay. Um, I'm just going to assert that y'all will find your tribe. Um, I My initial Afro shade was more in line with what Sai was saying, but I think that, like, in addition to that, regardless of, like, how you self-identify or the people that you find that you feel like resonate with you, like you will find the people that you're supposed to find mm-hmm. in this life. And so regardless of like how you're identifying or how other people are identifying you, what they're projecting onto you, you will find the people that you need to find in order to live your best life, not to be contrite, but y'all know what I'm saying. So like, contrite. God dang it. Yes. <laughs> Let's see here. See? Um, oh, I hate everything. <laughs> Should I wait? Should I just finish before you? Okay. No, you can go ahead and finish and I'll get okay. the end. Okay. Just to close, you'll find your people and live a really great life. Just wait on it if it hasn't happened yet. Mm, ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Contrite. C O N T R I T. Means feeling or expressing remorse or penance. I don't even know this word. We'll look that up next. Affected by guilt. We're not going to do nothing with you. Thank you. 100. Okay, thank you. All right, remorseful. Oh, okay. Repentant. Can you use it in a sentence again? I don't remember what you said. Contrite? I feel like we're at the spelling bee. <laughs> we are. That's why I spelled it for you. <clears throat> okay, are we done? Ooh. All right, next. <clears throat> Rachel, would you like to share anything? It's okay if you do not, but would you like or to Or if you have closing words. Yeah. Anything that you didn't want to cover? I feel like we at the at the church. Any, any closing? Is there remarks? another? And if there's not, um, thank you first of all for having me. Uh, ah, over there, uh, but I'm thanking them. Mm-mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> one to you and you, my, my number, number one. one. Um, the things that I've talked about here today are. I was I was really excited to be asked, first of all. Um, so for real, thank you guys oh, for that. Um, you tried to talk to old people on YouTube? Uh, what wow. now? What? I didn't know. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that. How many? 1.2 million. <laughs> what number resonates? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting less thrilled. What would you like to identify as? 1.2 <laughs> billion. We got people. Okay, sorry. Ultimately, your lived experience is is the thing that guides you, right? There are rules um, to this to to this thing to to society. We have things that we have to do um, that make sense. Um, you know, don't commit crimes. Don't you know, real common sense things. Um, but who you are inside. Um, is affected by how you were raised and, and what your experience is. And because you come from the same place as somebody else, doesn't mean that your lived experience is the same as somebody mm-hmm. else. And so ultimately, we, you hope that you're led by decency, you're led by love, and you move forward with that. Um, I don't have any shady things to say other than mm. you will find you will find your tribe. You will find where you're supposed to be. And if you are not finding it where you are, get up, mm. get up Hallelujah. and, and, and mm. look for it. Go find it. Go be whoever it is that you feel that you were meant to be um, and, and do that in love and in decency, not, you know, don't we're, be a we're, terror. No, we're, we're, we're talking about love and decency uh, more than, more than anything. Um, identifying as, this thing or that thing, you, you, I didn't, you are who you are. Mm-hmm. You are who you are. And it doesn't always have to make sense to everybody else. Um, so, I don't know. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having yes, me. Thank you. Thank you. Man, this is good. I learned yeah. a lot today. Me too. And unlearned some too. <laughs> <laughs> Same. All right. All right we'll see bye. you guys next time. Bye. 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 Oh, I have. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>